Welcome back, everybody. Little Fish here, bringing you my second travel vlog. This past weekend, I had some family come in from out of state and decided to spend the day in the city. They took in a show. I did a little bit of running around and did some toy hunting. Got to see some sights and some of the Dominican Day Parade. I went to Midtown Comics, the Toys R Us, which is thankfully still open, the Disney Store, Book Off, Kino Kunia, the M&M Store, and hmm, I think that's it. Oh yes, and I also went into the gift shop for the Hunger Games exhibition. I really did want to go through the exhibition, but thinking that my relatives might want to see the exhibition also, I refrained. Unfortunately, they decided last minute that they would prefer to go to some of the museums instead. So luckily, the exhibition will be open for, I believe, the rest of the year, so I will have another chance, and hopefully I'll get a lot of pictures from that. But until then, here we go. I'm just taking photos of stuff for my uh, blog. find something actually more interesting. <laughs> Wait, is that the Empire State Building over there? Yes.
Coletta. And an action set with the baby turtles. First time I've seen Everest. Have the Paw Patrol bath set or pool set where all the pups can swim in water. Only seems that they're missing Sky. Oh, Sky and Chase. Hmm. The little figure sets. you enjoyed that outing into the city. Unfortunately, a lot of the footage that had me talking and explaining things was what got corrupted. So I had to improvise by putting captions of my thoughts or what was going on during the footage. So I hope that wasn't too rough on you guys. Also, I did speed up a lot of the footage to save on time. So in the future, if you guys think that I should slow down the footage, I do tend to walk very fast. So it's even faster when I speed it up. So if you guys think that I should keep the footage at my foot pace instead of speeding it up, let me know in the comments. But now that we've seen all that we can see, let's take a look at the stuff I got while I was in the city. First off, at the exhibition, I got this bag, and I really do like it because it's got the nice Mockingjay insignia on the side. 
and it spreads all the way around so that it's the full picture. It's not just half of a picture. Ignore the Big Hero 6 stuff in the background. That is for my next review. And this is the Hunger Games, the exhibition. And these are all the districts and the symbols that represent them. And just goes down one side of the bag. Really awesome. So let's take a look inside. First, I'll just start off with the little insert that I got. I actually took this in case anybody was curious about the exhibition, in case I have any Hunger Games fans here. It says, explore the world of the Hunger Games as never before. Hunger Games exhibition, and it's got Katniss on the front. It is open at the Discovery Times Square Center, and that is the address. And again, the symbol for the Hunger Games, the exhibition, and Katniss and her bow and arrow. The Hunger Games, the exhibition, will ignite fans of the blockbuster Hunger Games franchise as never before. Immersive themed environments, hundreds of authentic costumes and props, and highly interactive digital and hands-on experiences will invite visitors to step inside and explore the world of Pan Am as created by the films. Guests will follow Katniss Everdeen's inspirational journey from her humble beginnings in District 12 to her emergence as the Mockingjay, sparking curiosity and excitement as the real world World themes underpinning the stories and the technological wizardry and amazing artistry that carried them to the screens are revealed. Ooh, it's a bit of a mouthful at the end there. These are the ticket pricings. If you do look online, you can sometimes find coupons or discounts. So on to what I purchased. Like the side of the bag, I got a postcard with the district symbols. Very simple thing. And it's got the Hunger Games exhibition symbol. And about the exhibition, same thing that I read before. And not much else. Doesn't really give you a lot of room to write. So that's this postcard. And I got this propaganda or graffiti postcard as well. Of all the postcards, this one was my favorite. They had another one with just the soldier, um, and it was totally a different style, but it did have the same image of the soldier. And it's got all the same information on the back with very little room to write, but that's okay. Just say, hey everybody, I got to see something wicked awesome, and I hope you guys can join me someday. I went to Midtown Comics. Unfortunately, you can't film inside Midtown Comics, and it's a really awesome store, so if you're ever in Manhattan, and just a card that I picked up while I was there, I read the Figment comic books, and it looks like they are making a sequel to the series. Better this is advertising the second comic book in the series, I'm not too sure, but I am definitely going to keep an eye out in September, and hopefully we will have more Figment. I love Figment, and I hope they definitely keep Figment around for a long, long time. And last but not least, while I was in Toys R Us, I was looking around. I couldn't find anything How to Train Your Dragon, unfortunately, which was really disappointing because there's supposed to be a whole new line of How to Train Your Dragon toys coming out. But I did find some Big Hero 6 stuff and back to school stuff. And I chose to get this really nice Baymax pencil case or coin pouch or however you want to use them. It's made out of a kind of translucent plastic and fabric at the top. It's got little Baymaxes on the bottom and Baymax on the side, but I will do a more of a thorough review of it another time, so I will put that aside for now. And that concludes my second vlog into the city. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to be able to share more of them in the future. If not Manhattan, then other trips that I might take. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment below if you think I should slow my pace down a little bit. If there's any other store that you think I should go to while I'm in Manhattan, you can follow more of my content on Instagram and Tumblr. And until next time, everybody!